Hello friends. This video is to introduce how to install DFL DDP USB 3 data recovery equipment. First, connect the USB 3 cable and second, connect the external power supply cable. Okay, next. Let's go to download and get the latest DFL DDP setup program from the forum or from your sales representative. Double click to install it. Next. Accept. Next. Yeah. Use the default parts. Next. Okay. Next. Create a desktop icon. Next. Install. So it's very easy to install DFL DDP. Click finish. Okay. Now let's go to the PC device manager here the PC device manager. Uh, once you enter the device manager, you will find this unknown device because the driver for the hardware of DDP hasn't been installed, so it's unknown. Right click, update this driver, search manually the driver. Okay, we can find the drivers under the DFL DDP installation folder. Okay, here we can find the 32-bit drivers and the 64-bit drivers. If your PC has installed the 32-bit operating system, then you select the 32-bit. Otherwise, 44, 64. Okay, my PC is 32-bit Windows 7 operating system. So I select this one. Click OK. Uh, next. So here, if your PC has installed some antivirus software, you need to allow the installation of the driver. OK. The Windows has successfully installed the DFL DDP driver. After the device driver is installed successfully for the DFL DDP. So you can find the DFL device under the Universal Serial Bus Controller. Okay. Another point users need to pay attention is the COM port here. So sometimes if your COM port doesn't come up, you need to do the same way. Right click, up this driver, find this driver, find this COM port driver under the DFO DDP installation folder. Here is one COM folder. Okay, select it, select it, click OK, click next uh, to install this driver. Okay. After the COM port driver installation, uh, you will find the COM number, the COM5 or COM4 or COM7. Uh, this is different on the different PC. So when you enter the DFDDP program uh, and you are going to use the COM port operations like for Seagate, you need to select the right COM port. You need to select this one. So you will find the COM number within the device manager under COM and LPT ports. Okay. So after the DFL device, the COM and the two channels, the 8081, the two channels come up. Okay. Then we can click the DFL DDP icon on the desktop. Click it. Okay. It's not registered. Yes. So click OK. Here you need to generate one registration file and email this file, email this registration file to your support engineer or to the sales representative. Okay, click 
Uh, here, let me change the parts to save the registration file. I want to save on the desktop. Uh, I can, for example, I can give it a name, uh, DDP uh, robot, robot. Okay, click the REG. Click save. Okay, so register. Okay. Now you can find this REG file. So send this file to the sales representative. Sometimes when you email this directly, it may be not passed by the email security system. You may rename this as, for example, you can rename it as .doc. Yes. So you send this one by your email to the DFO support engineers. This will be okay. After the support engineers get your REG file, yeah, then they will send you back with one DFL dot DAT file. This is the real activation file. When you get this file, you need to copy it and put this activation file to your DFL DDP installation folder. Okay. Put it here. Right now, you can open your DFLDDP successfully. See? So, you get success. Anyway, for Windows 7 or Windows 8 64-bit operating system, when users try to install the device drivers it may be not successful successful yeah that is because the 64 bit operating system require the digital signature verified then users need this software to sign the DFL driver. We will talk about this one in another video. Yeah, you need to enable test mode first. Okay, test mode has been enabled. You should be able to note unverified signed drivers now. You need to restart repeat like Yeah. Then you need to sign a system file. Okay, here you can find the DFL driver location to sign it and then restart the PC. After this step, you can install the device driver successfully under the Windows 7 64-bit operating system. Okay, I just uh, mentioned about this one for the 64-bit operating system installation. We will give another video for details. Thank you for watching this video. For watching this video.